Hi everyone, my name is Cameron Harris. A, I am a final year mathematics stu student and I study on the BSci mathematics program. Um, I'm gonna quickly go over my experience on the program. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. So I'm gonna give you a quick overview of the BSci mathematics program. Um, my experience specifically as an international student, um, my involvement as at Queen Mary, um, as a whole as a university, and then also in the School of Mathematical Sciences. Um, and then lastly, I'm gonna go over um, the things I've most enjoyed in my degree. So the BSci Mathematics program is a single honors program. It's last three years. Um, and then from your second year, you can take um, some modules in different schools, which I think is a really great opportunity to um, learn about different subjects um, taught by uh, a whole different school. Um, so you could take um, modules from like the School of um, Physics or um, Engineering, that sort of thing. Um, and then also there's just quite a lot of flexibility in the modules that you choose within the whole School of Mathematical Sciences. Um, on this program specifically, there's quite a lot of flexibility in what you choose to study. Um, so from your first year, you can learn a bit about what you liked and what you enjoyed most and then take modules that um, are along the subject lines that you enjoy most. Um, and just a quick tip, I uh, want to mention that you should be prepared to be challenged from this program. Mathematics is quite a difficult subject to study, um, but it just requires a lot of practice and you'll eventually get it. Um, but there's quite a, a big benefit that comes from studying mathematics. Um, you, have a quite, uh, you develop a different way of thinking, um, quite a logical way of thinking um, that really starts to show from your third year um, that you've developed. and. Um, is going to be really useful to your life and your career. So I wanted to study maths because I knew that maths was so fundamental to every other subject. Um, I've heard it called not just by lectures in the School of Mathematical Sciences, by, by other people, the queen of all the sciences. So it is very fundamental in um, things like physics, engineering, economics, that sort of thing. So um, understanding math is very key to understanding other subjects. So that's why I chose to study it and um, uh, why I chose to study it is proved to be true and accurate. Um, so I am an international student that may be interesting to some people uh, watching this. Um, I am here on a tier four student visa and just a quick tip that I wanted to share as an international student. Um, Queen Mary is super international. There's quite a lot of international students here, but you need to make sure that you're being your own advocate. You got to reach out for what you need, um, whether that be making sure you're meeting the requirements of your visa um, or um, if you want to stay in the United Kingdom after your studies, how you do that and what you need to meet, what requirements and that sort of thing. So there are a lot of resources that Queen Mary provides, and but it's just your job to make sure that you're making the most of those resources and reaching out because uh, they're not just gonna send you everything. You have to make sure that you're taking advantage and um, asking for what you need. Um, another part of my experience that I really enjoyed was I lived on campus in my first year. Um, this was a great opportunity for me to um, be in London and really get to experience the university and also just great because you could just roll out of bed, um, be on campus um, and feel safe as well. Um, so it's a great opportunity, not just for international students, but I think everyone, um, it's fantastic. And then also it's a lot easier if you are an international student to find housing in your first year this way. Um, I found it really difficult to try to find housing um, when I wasn't in the country. So um, just finding the housing through the university is a much easier way to um, figure out your living situation for while you're here. So while at Queen Mary, mainly in my first and second years, I was involved um, in a couple societies. Um, these societies I think were great. So I was involved in the math society um, in my first and second year, all of these in my first and second year, just because third year is quite busy and um, I feel like I got everything out of them that I could um, in my first and second years. Um, so the math society is great for if you want to meet other people that study math, um, attend like lectures that are about mathematical topics that you don't discuss in your degree. Um, it's just a great society to be a part of if you're a math student. Um, I also was part of the Vegan and Vegetarian Society. Um, the Queen Mary offers quite a range of different societies to join, whether they be 
you know, focused on your nationality or uh, your values or any specific interest. Um, so this society in particular for me was a great way for me to make friends that had a similar interests of mine. And um, I made a lot of friends through that society. So it was really great for me. Um, the Trading Investing Society was really great for my professional success in helping me expand my network and things like that. Um, so they host panels, discussions, um, you don't just learn about finance, but how to be just successful overall in your career. And they were really helpful to me, definitely in my professional life. Um, I even got a mentor um, from my first year through the society and she was really great um, in helping me make sure that I was um, taking every opportunity that I possibly could. Uh, one of those opportunities including was Q Consult. So Q Consult is a program run by Queen Mary. Um, it's a paid experience, which is fantastic. Um, that gives you real life consulting um, work. Uh, so uh, it was a great opportunity for me to learn about teamwork, time management, um, and then how to be in a professional setting and that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, that was a great experience and I definitely recommend taking it. I was really glad that I took it my first year and was able to um, get some insight and skills from my first year and it helped me really develop and further my career and use that as an example in further future interviews that I had for internships and that sort of thing. Um, I'm also a mass ambassador. Um, this is um, has been a great opportunity for me to um, have a part-time job on campus and then also develop skills that I wouldn't otherwise develop in my degree that much. So like presentation skills, um, as a mathematics student, you don't really get a, it's not a very presentation heavy degree. Um, so this was a great opportunity for me to develop that. So I've really enjoyed my time the last three years as a maths ambassador and it's been uh, a great way for me to share my love of mathematics and um, make money while doing it. Um, lastly, I uh, participated in a volunteering club in my first and second year. Um, so it was our way of giving back to the community and that we would tutor local students in mathematics um, in the community. Um, and in my second year, I got to be president of that club um, and which allowed me to get on a program uh, for the Queen Mary Students Union Skills Award. So this program gives you the opportunity to take part in different um, employability skills sessions. So sessions that were focused around developing skills that would make you um, more employable and things like that. And I was later awarded that and, and it was a fantastic um, way that Queen Mary tries to make you more employable. So from my first year, I learned quite, um, I got a good perspective on what I enjoy and what I didn't enjoy um, in maths. Um, so I didn't really enjoy differentiating or integrating, which is really weird for a math student. Um, so I chose to focus on um, subjects that had very low amounts of that and weren't really focused around that. Um, so pure, sub, pure math subjects, um, that sort of thing. Um, and the great part about studying on the BSI mathematics program is you do have that flexibility. You don't have to, from your second year, you don't have to take, um, you don't have a strict plan of what you have to take. Um, so some of the best modules that I wanted to point out is group theory. Um, this is a pure math subject. Um, but it's fantastic. And I think anyone that studies on this program should probably take it if you can. Um, really interesting and um, just helps you think logically, definitely for sure. Um, complex networks, I think is um, one of my most interesting modules. I feel like it is most applicable to the real world. So we talk about really interesting things like social networks and the spread of epidemics across social networks and, um, also, we discuss like the way Google ranks um, uh, when you search something in the engine, how they rank um, the uh, pages that come up, the really, really basic algorithm of what they do. So that's really interesting. And then also my third year, I did a third year project, which was really a fantastic way for me to take ownership of um, my studies and really get deeper into um, a subject that really interests me. Um, it's not required, but I think it is a great opportunity for you to get some one-on-one -on -one time with an academic and then also um, study something um, a lot deeper than you would do in regular classes. So linear programming games, I actually am taking this 
term, but it is a second year module. Um, and I believe the uh, lecturer, Justin Ward, actually says it should be called linear optimization and game theory because that's what it is. So it's a module that focuses on um, uh, things like, uh, so a linear program, so like maximizing profit um, while you know, following these constraints um, that you have, and then game theory, um, finding an optimal strategy in a game. Um, introduction to computer programming, I wanted to mention because as a math student, um, it, I think it's important to take advantage of any opportunity you have to learn to code. It's, um, I feel it's a lot easier for you to understand as a math student, the basics of programming. So um, it's a great skill to develop and very employable as well. So yeah, that's kind of it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it gave you some interesting information um, and good luck with your future studies. <laughs>